Before starting any piece of learning, the team at Mentoc thinks it's essential that we first present our overarching views, values, beliefs, and mental models that make up our approach. This is important for a couple of reasons. Firstly, to let you know what we represent, to share our values and beliefs, namely those of humility, curiosity, and safety. And secondly, to impact the insights and the learnings that you will ultimately take away from this course. Mentoc's goal and why we exist is to empower people. We do this through bespoke learning and development experiences. We want to help people bring out the best performance that they can, improve their thinking and how they process information. We believe that as the world and by extension, the working world become more complex, connected, more dynamic, there's a greater need for people and organizations to continuously learn, grow and develop. Many people's eyes seem to glaze over as soon as you start to talk to them about learning. Unfortunately, there is a tendency to conjure up images of sitting passively in classrooms, listening, following directions and pleasing the teacher by avoiding mistakes. The results of watching everyday life being that learning has become seemingly synonymous with taking in information. We believe it's more than that. We think that real learning gets to the heart of what it means to be human. As through learning, we recreate ourselves. Through learning, we can do something that we were never able to do. Through learning, we reimagine the world and our relationship to it. We extend our capacity to create and be part of life's generative processes through learning. Turns out we're pretty passionate about learning. So our mental models determine how we make sense of the world and how we take action in the world. A somewhat philosophical way to think about this is as my mental image of the world is a model, is a partial representation of reality based on the partial knowledge I have of the external world. So when I think I'm thinking about the world, I'm thinking about my model of the world. This model of the world is built up in a way that is in itself a model. So I'm using a model built by a model to represent the world I think I see. This has important implications. The model that represents the world tells me what I see and tells me what to see and reinforces itself. So when I think about the world, I'm thinking about my thinking. I have no direct access to the world. Now that may have been a tad heavy, so let's break it down a little bit more. People do not always behave in line with what they say. However, they tend to act in line with their mental models. Mental models can be straightforward generalizations, like people are untrustworthy, or they can be very complex theories. The most important thing to understand is that mental models are active. They shape how we act. If we believe people or a particular person is untrustworthy, we act differently from the way we would if we thought they were trustworthy. Why mental models are so powerful in affecting what we do? In some part, because they affect what we see. Two different people with different mental models can observe the same event and describe it differently because they have looked at other details and made different interpretations. Our brains are essentially connection machines. The underlying functionality of our brains is one of finding assumptions, connections, and links between bits of information. Our thoughts, memories, and skills and attributes are vast connections joined together via complex chemical and physical pathways. Now, the problem with mental models is not whether they're right or wrong. By definition, all models are simplifications. The problem with mental models arise when they become implicit, when they exist below the level of our awareness. Because we remain unaware of our mental models, the models remain unexamined. Because they are unexamined, the models remain unchanged. As a result, the gap widens between our mental models and reality as the world changes, leading to increasingly counterproductive actions. So our goal at Mentoc is to share how we view the world and the pieces that help us to make sense of and meaning in it. We believe that to take any kind of committed action, people need to think things through for themselves, make sense of things, to form connections based on existing models. We understand that people experience a degree of inertia around thinking for themselves due to the energy that this requires and often after those quick fixes. Unfortunately, these solutions often lead to tomorrow's problems. We're not all knowing, and we're definitely not all seeing. Instead, we consider ourselves continuously learning and examining and adjusting our own mental models. Consider us as a guide by the side to support you in your learning journey and in improving and expanding your own thinking, as we think that ultimately all learning occurs from within, and we are but guides in your transformation. A large component of our work is to empower people, helping them to flourish and thrive. So there are natural ties into well-being and positive psychology. We do operate from somewhat of a social constructionist approach, the basic high-level overview being that people give meaning or value to ideas or objects through social interaction, ongoing processes that are, that are embedded in our everyday interactions. So in a work context, this is very much the values and the beliefs and the tacit assumptions that you're undertaking every single day. So why you do things a certain way at work um, that might be slightly different for other businesses in the same sector or industry, how you treat people, et cetera. I would also say that Mentoc is influenced by a humanistic approach. Uh, we show people unconditional positive regard. We think that people are basically good and have an innate need to make themselves in the world better. So emphasizing the personal worth of the individual. 
Uh, we believe that people are motivated to self-actualize. Each person in different ways seeks to grow psychologically and to be a better version of themselves. The subjective conscious experience of the individual is the most important. Objective reality is less important than a person's subjective perception and understanding of their world. To boil all that down, we're interested in people and how they experience the world in their particular context. We like to help people, teams, businesses, organizations to learn and to grow. And why you'll hear me talking about purpose, meaning, narrative, dialogue, vision, values, beliefs. So within this course, we hope you find insight in many aha moments or eureka moments, or we'll probably start calling them mentor moments, where those connections are made, mental models are examined and added to, actual learning and sense making occur, as this is a space and energy needed for people to become motivated and willing to take action to actually learn. Enjoy. <laughs>